uh, today we'll talk about the cheapest way to host a strapi application so strapi is a popular cms it's very powerful and it has a lot of features and customizability that's why it makes sense for many larger applications to use strapi as a cms because of its extensibility um, but when it comes to the question of deployment uh, it can get tricky because if you visit strapi's uh, pricing page you will see that they are most that their cheapest plan is $29 per month now this is uh, good to start with but it is not really suitable for any serious application so if you are building a large website or if you are working for a company where you want to use CMS and uh, you are not really sure how to go about it or how to pitch it because it's really really pricey as you go above the pricing tier um, then we will talk about what are your alternatives but first let's compare these plans this developer plan is really just suitable if you're building a personal website and nothing else a small website uh, small marketing website things like that but it's not suitable for any serious project you have to go with pro for most serious projects but the major benefit that i see here are two things these seats number of seats and the number of api calls per month so here it's not mentioned but uh, in one of our uh, larger projects where we have picked this pro plan it didn't really suit us because this pro plan supports 1 million api calls per month which is not really that much when you are talking about a large web app and in most web applications uh, especially when you're dealing with cmss we need a lot of content editors then these five seats can become very limiting so in most scenarios you actually have to go with this plan which is 499 which is really a lot uh, so also it's per month so it's kind of a going forward uh, on a going forward basis which can get really really pricey so today i'll show you how you can go with this alternative option of self-hosting strapi which is basically free the reason is strapi is actually a Oh, an open source software so you have the full freedom to host it on your own um, infrastructure but setting up strapi from uh, from scratch can be very very hard because it has a lot of moving parts it has an application server it has a database it needs a storage so it's really good to uh, have some kind of solutions that will provide you most of the things uh, automatically so kind of best of both worlds right so because strapi cloud gives everything to you automatically so the developer experience is good but it's costly but self-hosted version the developer experience is not so good but it's very very cheap so we'll try to find a solution in between so let's see what we have if you visit strapi's docs this is their version 5 docs uh, we have a section called deployment here you will see you are first encouraged to deploy strapi cloud which is obvious because it's how they make money but you are not here to make them money you are here to save money so let's scroll down if you come down here you will see we have different options different integrations uh, we can deploy strapi on aws azure DigitalOcean platform things like that uh, now if your company is already using aws and azure you can go with that but i actually haven't used this yet but I used DigitalOcean app platform which I can vouch for and let me just show you an example because it will be easier to convey why I liked this so much now this is a real CMS which is running in production for one of the larger projects that I worked previously and it only costs $25 per month it's, it's a really popular uh, website it has a lot of contents just to give you an idea of how many types of content we have here and the amount of content is also uh, huge so and the access is also huge but the nice thing about self-hosting is you're not limited by anything you're not limited by the number of seats you're not limited by the number of entries you're not limited by the number of api calls which you are limited by in all of these plans so it's really nice and uh, kind of you will feel a freedom when you are self-hosting the app uh, which is nice as well so 
I think you already understand why I am vouching for self-hosting that much. But is it all good? Is there no um, disadvantage of self-hosting? Yes, there is. So the first thing, the first problem you will face when self-hosting is you have to have some technical knowledge. Uh, like Strapi Cloud, you can't just go and start using it without doing anything. Everything is taken care of. Because when self-hosting, you have to have some technical knowledge. Uh, second thing is if anything goes down where you have deployed your app, then the responsibility is on you. So you have to be careful when you are configuring these things and have to be try to be as hands off as possible so that once you initially set up everything, you don't have to touch that every time. But if you can do those things and you should be able to do those things, if you have if you have some experience with uh, web app development, then Strapi self-hosted option can be really great for you. Let me show you where can you find that. Uh, so if we click here on the DigitalOcean app, app platform, I'm not going into that much technical details just to give you a test. Uh, first, you have to create some files under the config production uh, directory. Uh, these are just literally copy paste things, not much, just two files. Then you add a uh, dependency then you git commit and git push that's about it you already have the github repository ready then you can go to digital ocean you have to select app platform then you will create an app uh, you just click create app then you will connect your github repository and then on the github repository you will select this cms project that you have pushed before and then you will have to add some environment variables these environment variables again everything is given for you just literally copy and paste click next 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 and then you have to add this installation this dependency and that's about it sorry you actually don't have to add that dependency yourself you only have to do that if you want to modify it but everything is basically taken care of for you on the DigitalOcean app platform uh, that's about it. Uh, the one additional hassle th that you have to take is actually adding the storage option. So uh, I actually wrote an article on it before. Let me quickly show you. So when we are using Strapi, uh, if you want to upload images to your Strapi CMS, those images will be erased every time you do a new deployment. So for the storage, you have to use DigitalOcean uh, spaces and in on this article I have described how we can do it uh, so basically you can do it with any s3 compatible service but that's a separate topic not for discussion on this video that's about it uh, thank you so much for watching I hope you understood uh, or learned something new and now you understand what is the cheapest option to host strapi and what are the advantages and disadvantages of that to summarize the advantages of using Strapi Cloud is everything is managed for you. The disadvantage of using Strapi Cloud is you are limited by seats, limited by number of entries and the number of API calls. For self-hosted, the benefit is it's really cheap and the disadvantage is you have to set it up yourself and you are responsible. So you kind of have to have some deeper technical knowledge. Thank you. Thank you so much again for watching. If you like this video, you can subscribe the channel and have a wonderful day bye